What's up, kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? I'm bringing you another video. This time, I wanted to talk about Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Um, Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. We know that they're coming out with a new console, code name Nintendo NX, and we don't really know much about it. But the thing is. Nintendo has the potential to produce the best console out right now. They have the potential. They do. They really do. They have all the they have the first party party on Okay, look. They have first party exclusives on lock. That's just a given. They are known for their exclusives. But imagine if they made a console where it was just as powerful. It don't have to be more powerful than the PS4, more powerful than the Xbox One, but at least in the running, like up to par, close to it, and then make the system simple enough for third-party developers and indie developers to also put their games on the system easily, just as easy as they can the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now imagine a console like that from Nintendo. First party, first party unlock, third party. Ex not even exclusive, but the third party support also. I'm telling you, Nintendo has the potential. I just don't know what they are doing. Like, what are you guys doing, Nintendo? And it's sad because Nintendo was the reason why I started gaming. My first console was the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo. And then I went to the Nintendo 64. I went to the GameCube. And then the Wii came out. I got a Wii, but it was like, what is this? I even had the Game Boy Color. I had Nintendo DS. The 3DS I have now. It's like, I love Nintendo. Nintendo is the reason why I game. So for me to see where it is now, from where, and then knowing the potential of where it could be and seeing where it was before, it just, it's just, it's just too much. Like, I really wish that whoever is back there in the Nintendo company just talk some sense into these people release a console that's up to par with the ps4 and the xbox one with all of your first party games exclusives with a, a hell of a lot of third party support and then on top of that software because software matters believe it or not like i'm not i don't really care about hardware like that yes it's okay but i know the PlayStation is more like a hardware system where where the Xbox is more so software. They got the Windows 10 and they have all the Windows 10 support. They got the apps, they have the the uh, features. So it seems that Microsoft tends to lean more towards software while Sony tends to lean more towards hardware and whichever one you feel is more important for you that's what you pick for me I'm a software person so I mean I don't really care about I don't care if the PS4 is more powerful than Xbox One like I'm satisfied with with the way the games look on the Xbox so it's not like it's just a huge difference to where it's like a PS2 to a PS4 type difference between the Xbox and the PS4 but that's actually that's not the reason for this video though the reason the thing is if Nintendo could care a little bit more about hardware actually a lot a bit more about hardware and a lot about software while keeping their first party games and exclusives and then on top of that third-party support like imagine and, and and I will have I had hopes for the Nintendo NX I did but then I'm like I don't know anymore just from watching doing research and watching videos it doesn't really seem like Nintendo learned their lesson from the Wii U's failure but 
hopefully they did. I mean, it's just hard to say. Like, I don't know, but imagine if they imagine if they really just blow our minds away with this Nintendo NX. Like, they the system is just you know a regular you can use a regular controller but you know if they want to keep the gimmicky motion thing that's fine too but as long as you can still choose to use a controller i know the wii u you could use a controller you could it had a wii u controller but that's what i'm saying they need to keep that keep that and then imagine them coming out with a system it's, yeah of course we know the zelda game is going to be on the new system so they have the zelda and then, let's say, in a future, Mario games, and then they have uh, um, Smash Brothers, all of their iconic games, maybe even another Metroid or something. And then, and then on top of that, the new Battlefield is also coming out on the system. The new Call of Duty is also coming out on the system. Like, you know, Overwatch could probably end up coming on there. Like, games that are popular now, third party games that imagine all of that on top of the fact that their exclusives are off the chain that and then you can also watch Netflix or you can watch Hulu you know the little softwares the apps Nintendo just they need a new person back there they do like they really do because they have so much potential so much potential it's like here is the trophy come and get it the trophy is right here. It is yours. Come and get it. It's like, that's how it is with Nintendo. It's right there. All they have to do is just go and get it. But if they fail, if this new Nintendo NX, if this fails, I really think that people want to just lose complete hope in Nintendo. Just completely. Like... I don't want to say it's going to be the end of Nintendo, but I really hope not. And um, I really want to see them on top again. I really do. So, fingers crossed for this Nintendo NX. I still have hope, but if this next console ends up being a, a failure just like the Wii U was, and don't get me wrong, the Wii U is a good console. It just lacks third-party support, and then they didn't market it right. So, most people don't even know about the Wii U. They think the Wii U is a connection of the Wii. Like, they don't even know. So, it's bad marketing. And then on top of that, a lack of third-party support, really. And then the and, uh, and people who care about hardware, hardware is also an issue with the Wii U. But, Nintendo, please redeem yourselves. You can do it. I have faith. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a nice day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, how do you feel about Nintendo? Do you think Nintendo is just hopeless? Or do you think they still have potential? Let me know. Have a nice day.